Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Carolina Panthers. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday Night Football, and on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. They've been buoyed by getting two home games right at the start, and they come off a good victory in week one. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. On the other side of the field for the visiting Bucks, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead. And we're off in week two. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync. And eight at the 27-yard line. This is Marlon Mack, third-year running plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. The Panthers will take over now, first and ten. So here are the Panthers now under head coach Ron Rivera. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do. Lead is, that's what he's trying to accomplish. They'll run it now out of the gun. The gain on that play. They'll run it now out of the gun. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and these creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game, showing off those wheels and picking up some nice yardage. They'll set up a throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a nice Speaker. second and five. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. He's at the 50, 30, 20, 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. What you just saw there. In the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Going left side here, and it's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Johnson. 
And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. He didn't get it there. Would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Are you excited about hitting him in the first half? Maybe not so much in the second half. And some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. That one who told me, I don't care about throwing 10 interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now a handoff working right. And he is met quickly in the backfield. He'll look to throw here. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Thus, the incompletion. And his kick is right there. It's good. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And to them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Here's second and eight. Staring up here at a third and eight. Looking to throw. Travis, they'll run the screen. Deep trip, deep trip. And to give this time to the tailback. That sense of urgency right now. Second and one. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's going to be out of bounds. A tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up the first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, he usually gets it done. 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. First and 10. Looking to throw. To the end. I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Escaping the pressure right. to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And he can still get a first down if they just get a yard out. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Spot. Not as aggressive as I probably would want to be. Only that missed to go in the first half. Second and 13. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And I'm wondering if I'm going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. But first, the NFL season is against in. the Rams, so some good momentum as they come up first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's got the first before he's brought down. They'll look to throw. He's got the first down and more pass. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and ten at the 42-yard line. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 80% so far, and it's first and 10. And he'll get a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. They'll set up to throw. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. Saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive. On second down, here's a run with Mack. On third down, Travis. Got his man complete. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. And he'll only get... They keep it on the ground. Mack again. Try to... To throw on third down. 
Travis last time. But they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring that. Toe I don't know about that. that. <laughs> Super tall. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. The big plays. Let's face it. That's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our kids. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he rolled them down. And they really start to take over in this game. Completed. Every receiver was locked up. They winds it. They'll drop the throw. Oh, there's that what He's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it gutsy type of a throw. I mean, it has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Marlon Mack. His first touchdown. Touchdown we just saw. We have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conservative look. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those. The game that you saw would likely put an end to this thing. Now they try the right side here. Now back to throw. And he can't. There's punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that'll nine games we've seen as they come up here on first and 10. A little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd, see if it's... And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up with safety. And that disastrous play partner is ultimately going to seal their fate in this one, isn't it? It certainly is, because they give up the two points, but that's not really what did it. It's happened to give up the football. And because they gave up the football, guess what? The other team now can take the ball and close this game out. This one all over, but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably not. And you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. The Panthers down to a knee. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here we go. Here we go. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for Carolina, they use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.